It's interesting because I, I, I think this is a, you know, in talking about presence, you know, uh, what does it mean to be present and, uh, and, and impactful as a, as a leader in a, in a virtual? I've actually seen some, uh, some uh, training uh, sessions where they like, how do you be, how do you lead your team and uh-huh. through, through uh, this type of technology? And, and uh, you know, what are the strategies of, of leadership? And I think it's really, it really forces the question, um, how do you even define accountability? Yeah, that's, like, that's a good point. Like, like, what does it mean to be accountable for your job? Like, how do you know that at five o'clock you've actually done a good job for the day? And it makes, it, it's, it really defines at a, at a top level, are you being clear enough with your people such that they actually know what the heck they need to do by the five o'clock? So yeah. It clarity. It, it does. Um, you know, it, it forces you to be a lot more clear than probably you, you've you ever been, even in an email or, you know, we at MedSource use uh, Microsoft Teams for our internal chat system. And it forces you to develop a higher level, not only of etiquette, but, you know, way of expressing things that you cannot express for the lack of being in, in, in the same building, but it forces you to express the things that you need in a higher clarity level, if you will. I, I, this whole thing for me has demolished the concept of delegation. Hmm. How so? And, and, it's, and, and, I don't mean, and I mean that because I am so glad this happened because I, it's given me the opportunity to stop sprinting at full speed and actually look at what I've asked to be done. And just because I have a body in a chair doesn't mean it's being done. It just means I have a body in a chair and, and that doesn't mean they're clear. It doesn't mean that I've been clear. It doesn't mean that I'm leading. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's put full accountability on me. And then I can do um, a full audit on literally every person that's in my ecosystem and every thing that's come out of my big fat mouth for the past year, two years, three years, so they've asked to be done, you know, and, and it, to me, it's my fault. You know, if there is something wrong, it's my fault. And then, but I love this opportunity to, to sit and I love you. How do you influence, you know, these are really important questions. Like how do I influence and, you know, am I being clear about what I've asked to be done so that I can be influential right. in the process? It's a really, these are really powerful questions. Yeah. And, you know, on, on the same hand during this time, you know, you, you're mentioning that you went from sprinting to, you know, taking a little more time to really reassess and reanalyze um, some of the, the things that you had in place. And for me, it's been like a really great time to actually work on, on new solutions. And because of the time or, or the, well, it almost felt like I had additional time to be, to be honest, being here at home. I mean, there, there were some of those, um, you know why? Uh, Nobody's asking you for dumb meetings. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> talk about clarity. Like, like I'm talking, I'm talking 360 degree clarity. Like, I mean, how many times did you and spend a week? We're like, why was I just in that meeting? <laughs> well, you know, I, I think I just had that time to focus not only for 15 minute at a, 15 minutes at a time or 30 minutes at a time. It was more like a two hours at a time where I could really pour myself into a very specific task trying to to resolve challenges that that came that well that came up uh, given COVID-19 so I was just able to to really release a couple solutions in in a span of a month which I wow. think it would have taken me at least six months or eight months in in a regular standard week or or, or yeah. day that's great I mean but you know, uh, the, you know, distraction is a big deal when you're sprinting, and the mm-hmm. higher you rise up that leadership ladder, if you don't put like I just know this for myself, if you don't have strong guardrails around around the time, mm-hmm. uh, all of a sudden focus that got you to the level you're at, uh, and this is anybody, not just you, but anyone, mm-hmm. and myself included, that superpower gets diminished. It's like kryptonite. There is kryptonite around us. <laughs> like if you can't focus, it it, it it impacts us as a leader. It's like. Kryptonite does exist. It's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that's a good point. I mean, superpowers, you know, you, you take a step back 
and, and, and consider what took you to the place where you are today. Um, and it's an interesting way of not only reminiscing how things were before, but also, you know, what are your core com competencies? I mean, how are you successful at doing what you do? Um, then, surprisingly, it's not necessarily that skill that it's sometimes missing is just that time or, or, or the time to focus on, on that. And, and that's what I've kind of rediscovered in a way. Now that yeah. I have a little more time to focus, I feel like I'm more effective. And not only as a personal opinion, you know, uh, but uh, based on an actual deliverable or deliverables that I've seen uh, coming through from my end. <laughs>